Hey guys, Buffer Gaming back here bringing you another video and today for the weapon conversion series we're going to cover the Sig Sauer MCX Virtus SBR carbine variant. So this is going to be a short bar barrel variant of this weapon for the compact carbine. Looks like an 11.5 inch barrel. So let's go ahead and get right into it and we're going to test this out in game. Look at the recoil patterns and see how it performs. So here you see our final design. So what I'm going to do is strip this down. And we're going to start with skipping the muzzle. We're going to go straight to the barrel. We're going to want that Tempest Mini. So this is a short compact barrel. Sacrifices accuracy and range for speed and agility. Good for clearing out tight spaces. So the pros here, ADS speed and movement speed. Cons are bullet velocity and bullet recoil. And this is the shortest barrel we have for this weapon. You can see versus the standard barrel here, which appears to be a 14 and a half inch. So this looks like it's going to bring it down to either an 11.5 or a 9 inch barrel. Hard to tell because it doesn't give us an exact measurement. But that's going to give us this MCX Virtus SBR short barreled rifle. Or that you could call also call it the carbine variant of this weapon. Next we're going to go with a laser. And for this we're going to go with a TAC laser. So what this is going to do, high powered 5 milliwatt tactical green laser. It's going to improve our accuracy. So it's going to help with our ADS speed, aiming stability, and our aim walking steadiness obviously our con here is laser will be visible to enemies but you can pick this at your discretion based on whether you want that to be seen by the enemies or not but for the way we're using this i think it's optimal optimal for this build optic we're going to go ahead and go with the holographic site because who doesn't love the holographic site it looks beautiful especially on this build and the stock we're going to go ahead and go with that m13 skeleton stock so this is going to give us that look we want with the virtus sbr combi carbine variant here so this is going to help us with our aim walking movement speed movement speed and our ads speed our only con here is the aim and stability which is fine now we have that we're going to skip out on the perk as well as the rear grip and the ammunition and we're going to go with the under barrel and for this one i like the merc foregrip i think this is just the best foregrip you can use in the game helps with that recoil control and the hip fire accuracy and looking at the stats if you compare it to the other ones i think you're getting the best bang for your buck here Another note here is you could go with the 300 blackout rounds as well as this weapon does come with 300 blackout rounds in real life. The SBR variant here for the carbine 11.5 inch or 9 inch barrel variant that we're making. So that's personal preference whether you want that extra damage or not. But for this build we're going to stick with the 5.56. Yeah, so we're going to stick with the 5.56 by 45 millimeter rounds here. And that's our final build. So this is the SIG MCX Virtus SBR short barreled rifle. Um, again, we don't know specifically what the length of the barrel is, so this is this is basically the carbine variant of it. It does come in the standard rifle, long rifle, carbine, or you could call it a combat carbine. The shortest barrel this weapon comes with is a 5.5 inch, and this definitely doesn't look like a 5.5, so I'm thinking this is an 11 inch based on comparing it to other weapons. So this will be our carbine variant of the Sig Sauer MCX Virtus SBR. <laughs> Heck of a name, but there you go. That is the final product. Really good looking, looks beautiful. So let's go ahead and get in game now. We're gonna look at the recoil panels and then we're gonna get on a, a new small type map that's not Euphrates Bridge and we're gonna test this out and see how it performs. Okay, so now that we're in game, let's go ahead and test out our weapon here and see how it performs. So, first off, what we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm not going to control the recoil, we're just going to let this rip and see what the recoil pattern looks like. So you can see there you're going up a little bit and then kind of like a 90 degree turn to the right. So, that's an interesting recoil pattern there. So now let's try and control it. And we were able to keep that pretty tight. So I think that looks pretty good. And let's see one more time. I'm gonna control it again. So you can see it does kick a little bit there, right? And then if we just let it rip again. So you're getting about five or six shots before you start turning right if you're not controlling it. Otherwise, Seems like you're able to keep it pretty tight if you can compensate for that hard right turn that you're going to get there. So that is the recoil patterns for this weapon. Let's go ahead now and get in game and see how it performs. We're going to do a smaller target map today and we're going to test this out and see how it is against bots.
Okay, so here we are in game with our SIG Virtus SBR variant here. So this is our 9 inch or 11.5 inch barrel. Again, it doesn't quite say, but I think we have a 9 inch barrel here. So we're going to test this out in a CQB environment and see how it performs. Definitely like it so far. Even the hip fire on this, even though we didn't design it for hip fires, seems pretty good. It's pretty accurate at this type of range. This would even make a great secondary for something like if you're running overkill. Oh boy. So you can see this thing is a piece of maneuverability with this is great. And since we're running the 5.56, the damage is still pretty decent, given that that carbine type of rifle variant here. You can also equip this in 300 Blackout if you wanted more damage on this thing, which would just be almost overkill, I think, because this is mainly for a CQB environment, and you're dealing quite a bit of damage with the rate of fire of this up close. Especially with your maneuverability and compared to the standard barrel length that comes with the M13 or the SIG MCX. Virtus. So just some notes on this weapon. It comes in a rifle, carbine, short barrel rifle, and a pistol, also known as a compact carbine. The MCX was first introduced at a shoot show in 2015. It also carries over a lot of the design features from the MPX submachine gun variant that everybody should be familiar with from previous COD games as well. Oh, darn. But it definitely hits hard up close. And the variants of the... For the Sega, the Sing MCX, Sing MCS Virtus, and also the Rattler is the, the newest version of these weapons. The barrel lengths for this, as we discussed, are coming 9, 11.5, as well as 14. According to some sources, you get some different information on their website. It also comes in a 5.5 inch barrel for a PDW, as well as a 16 inch barrel. So there's a few different variants for this weapon. This being our SBR 11.5 inch, or possibly the 9 inch, since it's not labeled as to what the length of the barrel is, but I, I would say it's either an 11 or a 9 for sure. <laughs> this thing is a lot of fun to use, that's for sure. And if you put the 300 blackout rounds on this, you're going to get even more damage. I would say the recoil definitely isn't too bad with this, it's definitely controllable. Unfortunately, these bots keep running shotguns and getting me. So for this build of the weapon being a carbine, the... Oh boy. So the mu muzzle velocity for the carbine is 300 feet per second, effective range being 1,600 feet or 503 meters. Let me know what you guys think of this weapon, SIG MCX Virtus. SBR, short barrel rifle, being in the 9 inch barrel or the 11, we can't really tell what it is because it's not labeled. But great weapon, definitely a good CQB build for this weapon. Handles really well at these ranges. If the bots weren't using shotguns, it'd be a little easier. <laughs> You may even want to run a larger magazine, depending on what kind of environments you're using this in, what kind of engagements you typically get in, because you are running with a fast rate of fire on this. And you can see I'm running out of ammo here in like key key points where I would kind of want to have that extra ammo, unfortunately. So if you were to run like a 50 round mag, that might even help you out a little bit more. So the SIG MCX Virtus SBR. Let me know what you guys think of this weapon being the carbine build with that shorter barrel. Have you used this one in game yet? I know this is one that came up in Gunfight a few times in the Alpha as well as the Beta and I definitely like this build a lot. Oh boy. Also be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It definitely helps out the small channels like myself. I'll also leave the link to my Twitch page in the description below so you can check me out there. Doing live streams typically on Sundays and maybe once or twice during the week as well. I have a schedule coming up soon here. 
And then be sure to comment below and let me know what kind of builds you want to see going forward. Uh, suggestions of real life weapons you want me to build in this game if you think it can be built. So we have a lot of suggestions and I'm getting to those now too. So this is actually one of those suggestions that we got. Oh man, what a real life spawn. <laughs> kind of uh, mimics the real game spawns right now, right? Wow, that guy crushed me. But you can see it hits really hard. Definitely in this frantic environment too, being this map. Jeez. A lot of fun to use. So let me know what you guys think of this in the description below in the comments and also be sure, like I said, to leave your likes and subscriptions. Let me know what weapons you want to see in the future. This is the SIG MCS Virtus. I am Buffner Gaming. And until next time, Buffner Gaming. Out.